the end of the mask mandate, Santa Clarita residents returning to work, a look into Project Linus, and the reopening of a Santa Clarita nonprofit. I'm Rachel Matta, and you're watching Canyons News. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Canyons News. Ending the mask mandate is only one aspect of California's reopening plan. But are people planning on returning to work? Here's Mark O'Brien with the story. Restaurants are reopening, but they need help. Some are short staffed, causing the businesses to struggle even more. What was once an effort to keep people at home is now an effort to get them out of their homes and back to work. Store owners and managers are trying to combat worker shortages by offering incentives to lure people back to work. Those incentives included return to work bonuses and more flexible work schedules. But during the pandemic, a lot of workers found working from home far more enjoyable and efficient. And even after more than a year, they still have no intention of returning to work in person. I have found that the LA traffic is back to being what it was before COVID. So for me, working from home saves me so much time. I'm so much more productive here because I don't have that commute time. And um, I can still have face-to-face -face meetings because the way technology is set up. So I really feel like I'm not missing anything except the commute. And for those who lost their job because of the pandemic, ended up getting paid more from their unemployment check than they were from their paycheck at work. Federal and state officials fear that the economic recovery may be jeopardized even after the reopening of businesses and end of lockdown restrictions. But despite the troubles businesses are going through on a national level, Santa Clarita employees say for the most part, business has picked up as usual. It's gotten a lot busier. Um, I got hired probably about a week before the restrictions were lifted, so um, we still did have a wait list before, but we had limited, more limited seating, and now we have a wait list without as much. In fact, one employee said other factors get in the way of business more than a lack of staff. It really does depend on the weather. Even when it's like kind of windy like it is today, it like slows down a little bit, but usually it's like pretty busy. But other than inconvenient weather and hectic customers, it appears Santa Clarita businesses are fully back in action. For Kenyans News, I am Mark O'Brien. With declining coronavirus cases and increased vaccinations, Governor Gavin Newsom has planned to end the mask mandate on June 15th. Here's Jakirian Ladson with more on the story. Some of you may have heard that Governor Gavin Newsom said California plans to stop requiring people to wear masks in almost all circumstances on June 15th. As we get closer and closer to that day, we wonder if this still will be true or the, or the date will change. We also wonder how quickly we will go back to looking like the world before this pandemic started. Okay, so I think, you know, as a uh, world, that we would be able to adjust really well after the mandate is over. You know, we just have to take certain precautions still, I believe. Um, but slowly but surely, I think things should would be, go back to normal fairly quickly. As jobs and places adjusted to this pandemic and followed guidelines and made rules for staff and customers to keep their business open, it's hard to think they would change the rules once again because of this announcement. You know, I know there's talk of the governor and then the mask mandate, but um, the profession I work in, we work with children, and they're going to keep the mask and, um, and policies continuing because um, until we know for sure, and then we've seen other places around the world, numbers are starting to increase. They just want to be cautious and wait for uh, the CDC to really announce that it's okay for us not to wear masks around the children. Numbers continue to go up and down all around the world, and some people believe we should wait longer until we stop wearing our masks in public. I personally feel like we should still wear a mask, I think, for another year. Because um, I know that they're saying that, you know, if you're vaccinated, that you don't have to um, wear a mask. But then you, how do you know if someone is or if they're just decided not to wear the mask? because they don't believe in it or hadn't believed in it in the beginning. So for me personally, I will continue to wear my mask. Until more is announced, we should all continue to wear our masks and follow safety guidelines and after do what we have to do to keep everyone safe. From Canyon News, I'm Ja'Karian Latson. 
Project Linus is a local nonprofit organization that creates blankets to help critically ill children. Here's Destiny De La Cueva with more of the story. For many, blankets offer a feeling of warmth when it is cold. For some, blankets represent comfort during difficult times. But for Academy of the Canyon students Logan Castillo and Justin Almeida, making blankets through Project Linus is how they are making a difference. It was founded by our teacher or coordinator, uh, Sharon Garver. Um, and basically her story is that her son was uh, critically ill when he was born and uh, he got one of the blankets from Project Linus and it meant a lot to her. So she ended up creating an organization uh, and a chapter here in uh, Santa Clarita. Project Linus is offered as an elective to Academy of the Canyon students. Students are responsible for running all of the functions of the nonprofit and putting together their annual Make a Blanket Day event in which volunteers from the community make blankets that are donated to critically ill children. Basically what we do is we'll have a venue. Uh, so we use the CSC gym in past years, most years we do. And uh, basically we provide everybody with materials uh, and instructions. So like scissors, seam rippers, and then we uh, give them instructions on how to make the blanket. And basically uh, we just uh, you know, put on music and then everybody has a good time and we, we, make a, we make a bunch of blankets. For these students, what started as a class became something that they looked forward to and something that they were proud to be a part of. I really liked it. I really liked it because I saw that it wasn't just an elective, really. It wasn't just a class. It was more than a class. It was something where you're basically making a difference in the world, even though it's small. So I really liked that. I really wanted to be a part of that. Project Linus held their drive through Make a Blanket Day event on May 15th, where they collected 400 blankets from the community. For Canyons News, I'm Destiny De La Cueva. Assistance League is another business continuing to thrive during the pandemic by serving the people of Santa Clarita. Let's take a look at how. <laughs> serving the Santa Clarita community for over 30 years, Assistance League upsized their previously small store to a new location to continue touching the lives of Santa Clarita residents on a much larger scale. Assistance League is a resale store that funds philanthropic programs to give back to the community. Grand Old Navy, a little girl comes up, her hands are filled with new clothes, and she said, how did I get paid for this? And I didn't, you know, have the heart to fund Operation School Bell, as well as their six other philanthropic programs, Assistance League sells a range of products from clothing to kitchenware. Our newest program, which is Fostering Success, is geared towards COC students who have fostered out of, of age out of foster care. But they're really trying to make themselves better. And after they go shopping, they usually leave a little comment card. And one comment that we read said, I have my first big job interview, and I think with these new clothes, I'll get the job. These are the ways that we touch lives. Assistance League celebrated their grand reopening with an open house last week, but they are now officially opened to the public. To get involved and give back, visit Assistance League on Bouquet Canyon Road in Newhall. For Canyons News, I'm Rachel Matta. To keep up with the latest news across the Santa Clarita Valley, visit Canyons News on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For Canyons News, I'm Rachel Matta.